hey my friends what were the results of the israeli women's team in the chess olympiad 2024 let's see it together <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg. I'm chess grandmaster in this YouTube channel. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we will summarize the achievements of our Israeli women's chess team in the prestigious 2024 Olympiad in Hungary. The team was ranked number 25 before the tournament based on FIDE ratings. The team includes international master in the first board, Marcel Afromoyski. On board number two, international master Masha Klinova. On board number three, we have women's international master Noga Orian. On board number four, we have FIDE master in women's Ronit Levitan. And on the final board, number five, we have FIDE women's master Dana Kuchavi. In today's video, I will show a game I selected for each one of these players and we will briefly go over them while discussing how the tournament ended for our amazing team so sit back relax and enjoy their show marcella from Oisky in this um, game she played against international master for women's uh, from mexico Zenia corrales let's see this game e4 c5 knight c3 knight c6 N now bishop b5 was played by marcel 94 93 um, you know very logical until now there is so much theory in this line and um, so until now there this is just theory e6 was played castle a6 bishop d3 also very well known knight c6 and now b3 was played the best move in the position i think that after rook e1 g5 the best here for black and this is very annoying because g4 h5 and this bishop is very bad here bishop g7 will be played and this diagonal very strong so b3 was played very strong move by marcel g6 and now e5 i think e5 i don't know if it was preparation because i think g6 this is the main move here but e5 very interesting choice by marcel she's going for this one and you know claiming that there is some uh, really bad squares here for black so let's see bishop g7 her opponent just attacking the pawn on e5 rook e1 makes sense d5 was played you know here there was a very strong move for black but i can tell you that it's very difficult to play such f6 i don't know why because you know i know why uh, just you know to attack the pawn on e5 and also to bring the opportunity uh, to all to develop this knight from f6 for example e takes f6 just knight takes f6 with castle and d5 so the point here that after you know marcel played the move e5 her opponent uh, should have thought about you know these squares are really weak and 94 96 and it will be just crashing right so she must fight with his uh, option so f6 is very strong move and after 94 probably just f takes e5 96 king e7 and i don't know it's looking very very bad for black but i'm not sure knight g5 with some threats but knight h6 I don't know maybe maybe marcel uh, like it I, I can tell you that also i like this position for white maybe like this one you know this knight is doing perfect and this king on e7 i don't know it's looking very bad but i don't know knight f5 really interesting position so she played the move d5 now e takes d6 the best move queen takes and bishop b2 as you can see marcel already uh, you know developed uh, the rook uh, castled developed all of her minor pieces 94 and uh, this is the threat with bishop takes g7 and also the queen on d6 knight f6 was played and now just 94 amazing move uh, you know attacking this queen attacking this knight and after queen e7 uh, we will see what it was but after 94 just bishop takes g7 and you know this position is very bad because as you can see so much uh, black squares are weak here and this brilliant bishop will do uh, the job so queen e7 was played and now very strong move uh, 95 was played by marcel and uh, i really like it because the point here was that after knight xc5 just bishop takes e5 and this knight cannot go anywhere right uh, because of this pin and also bishop d6 is the threat 96 is the threat so yeah for example castle just bishop d6 and the rook is 
is gone. Um, so knight e5, very strong move. Knight before was played just knight g4 now. There was a, a one, you know, one more option for Marcel just to take the knight and bishop takes and bishop e4. You know, like quiet moves, but I can tell you that I really understand the move knight g4 because, you know, there is problems uh, on this diagonal. So knight g4 very makes sense. Knight takes g4, bishop takes g7, rook g8, uh, queen g4. Yeah, bishop b2 or bishop c3, for example, I think also makes sense because you really want to, to br bring this bishop to the game, right? Uh, so much black squares here and it seems very, very bad. f5, for example, bishop e2, bishop g4, knight f6, knight e6, bishop e5, I don't know, looks terrible for, for black. Uh, so, so she played the queen takes g4, also makes sense, queen g3, and now, as you can see, uh, she wants to bring the queen to e5 with knight f6, knight e6, yeah. Looking very bad. This king on e8 is in the middle of the board. So she played the move king f8, and now knight e6 was played by Marcel. Knight takes d3, and now queen takes queen c7, b4. I like this move, you know. Uh, probably it's not the best move in the position, but I like it because Marcel is telling us, you know, I, I don't have time uh, to waste. I really want um, to use that this king on f8 because black will try to play bishop d7, bishop c6, and rook d8. Uh, and maybe somewhat, somehow like rook g8, king g7 and to bring the king to a very good uh, square and safe but b4, very playing, you know, fast c takes b4 and now queen d4 the point here is also uh, to play queen takes b4 and also don't forget that after a5 there is very beautiful tactic queen takes g7, king takes and knight e8 and of course we're taking the queen with rook up so queen d4, queen e7 was, was played, queen takes b4 and now f5, just c4 Queen is coming back to a3, C, rook a b1 and d4 and c5 and you know this is very good example of strategic plans, you know this knight against this very bad bishop. So the game is totally over here, oh sorry, whoa what I'm doing, what I'm doing, sorry mates. So uh, let's see it, yeah, my fault, so rook a6, rook b3, uh, yeah rook coming to e3 uh, attacking this pawn on e6. Queen c6, just d5, and yeah, take the bishop, and the game, of course, is over. And knight b6, takes, 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 and yeah, knight e7 and knight b8. And Marcel took a very important win uh, over uh, the Mexican board number one in the Olympiad 2024. Let's move to the second board. We have Masha Klinova also against Mexico, so this was, a, you know, the same match. Let's see the game. e4, d6, d4, knight f6, knight c3, e5, the Philidor opening. Uh, bishop c4, bishop e7, a4, castle, a5, e takes d4, uh, queen takes, and now just uh, knight c5, developing this knight. Also, maybe preparing like bishop e6, bishop g4, knight fd7, bishop f6, makes sense. Castle, bishop g4, attacking the knight on f3, knight d2, and now c6 was played. Also, very important move in such and uh, you know like um, openings because you really want to play the move knight fd7 with bishop f6 which is bishop e6 and this c6 move is very important you know like to uh, avoiding from this knight to come to d5 or b5 so it's good good move by masha rook e1 rook e8 knight f1 bishop e6 uh, also she understand that understood that this bishop is doing nothing here and maybe she needs to bring it back uh, to a, a better position bishop e6 bishop takes knight takes and d5 i like uh, how how she's playing chess i must tell you that masha in this position has only 30 minutes of uh, in the clock of course in only 14 moves so it's not so easy to play uh, but she succeeded so let's see it c take e takes d5 c takes d5 knight g3 and now bishop b4 also i like this move you know just to develop a bishop bring him uh, to a better uh, place also d4 this is the threat bishop takes a5 also and an, uh, an threat so rook d1 was played bishop takes a5 knight e5 she's taking everything and going for this endgame and you know such positions when you are playing uh, against a player that has a um, lower rating than you, you feel like you must take a win, you must win it. But Masha, with her very big experience in chess, she played very slowly. She says, okay, I also can win in such endgame, right? The experience in endgame is very important thing in chess. So bishop takes e3, and now a6, quiet move, king f2, king f8, 
take stakes, king e2, king e7, rook d1, as you can see, um, you know, the white just really hope for a draw, but Blake is just playing takes, king is coming into the game, right? This is very important thing in chess, because in endgame you must bring your king to active position. King e5, and now knight c5, b6 slowly, and now knight e4, and that's it, king c3 was the mistake of the game, the blunder, knight e4, takes takes, king d2, and now h5, h4, a5, f5, g5, as you can see, just amazing, b5, all the pawns are running, a4, c3, just g4, king d2 takes and the game is over because after g takes a3 h3 king f3 and yeah taking the pawn and of course promoting this pawn to a queen so ladies and gentlemen another very interesting and important win by masha klinova the international master of the israeli chess um, women's team let's go for the third board we have uh, Nogarian against uh, you know women's fide master from albania if i'm not mistaken right yeah, Albania and um, let's see it so it's it was not the same match against Mexico let's see what what was in this game e4 c5 and r3 knight c6 bishop b5 d6 so the Sicilian defense here of course bishop d7 rook e1 knight f6 h3 here the the best move in my opinion at least is c3 with d4 but she played the move h3 here a6 bishop f1 knight f5 uh, I don't know it's interesting you know maybe g6 maybe e5 also b5 bishop e7 something about this i like for black but i don't know 95 also interesting knight c3 I, i'm not sure maybe c3 was a better because d4 will be played uh, by white but knight c3 was played e6 a4 bishop e7 takes takes a5 now bishop c6 i like this move also just developing this bishop to this diagonal also open this file to the queen and don't forget that you know the uh, the thing that you really asking me a lot of time about oh we have double pawns oh no but you can see these double pawns are doing perfect here you know this pawn is very important pawn and also c5 is very strong pawn and also the e6 pawn is very strong because the d5 square is in our um uh, property right so you know these double pawns are doing just absolutely amazing here so don't afraid to have double pawns in the center and you know of course if they are doing so much work so d3 was played queen c7 bishop e3 castle queen c1 and now knight d7 another very strong move with the point of after knight b1 f5 black is starting the attack f3 bishop h4 rook d1 rook f7 every move counts let's bring the all of our pieces knight d2 g5 g4 knight c5 takes takes g takes f3 takes f4 i i also like in this position for example rook g8 to bring the last piece into the game right but of course f takes g2 is very strong f4 queen d7 another very strong move just telling you know what i don't need this rook just put checkmate on the board bishop g4 queen d5 and now takes takes queen d4 f3 and noga won this game you know amazing only 30 moves um, and zero one for israel it's great so let's go for the fourth board we have um fide master of course ron neat levitan let's see this game against uh, isa anawad from united arab emirates let's see it e4 e5 another three knight c6 bishop b5 knight f6 castle knight xc4 and this is the berlin system rookie one 96 95 the best move here of course after knight xb5 just knight xc6 and we are winning the queen right so she played the move knight xc5 rook takes bishop e7 bishop f1 castle and now d4 was played uh, of course uh, this until now is the theory let's see what happened bishop f6 rook e1 rook e8 and now bishop f4 the point here is just to develop the bishop and also claiming that after rook takes c1 queen takes c1 and bishop takes d4 maybe white thought to play bishop takes d6 c takes d6 and knight c3 with rook d1 knight d5 and you know these double pawns are not uh, the same like we saw in the last game right they are very weak pawn and we can attack it 
So, and also don't forget that the bishop on c8, I don't know how he will develop because rook d1, knight d5, bishop c4, there is a very interesting initiative and also white has uh, one pawn up, uh, down, right? So it's, it's very complicated, this position. Uh, but I like it for white, I must admit. So she played the move knight d8 until now, this is the best. Knight c3 and now bishop takes d4 with knight d5. Um, white is attacking here knight c7, this is the threat. For example, uh, if I will show you, I don't know, for example, uh, bishop b2, for example, I will play rook d1, rook b1, sorry, bishop, I don't know, bishop d4. Uh, maybe I can take it here immediately, but also queen e4 looks very strong uh, with with this initiative, you know, when you're attacking with all your pieces, uh, it's, it's it just game over. And also knight xc7, this, this is a nice thing. For example, king h8, knight c7. Knight takes, bishop takes, and you know, after queen takes, just checkmate on the board. So, knight c7 is the threat. Knight d5, and now uh, the black just thought so much time. He played the move c6 after 30, mo uh, 30 minutes, of course. And now, white played uh, just the best here. Knight e7, king f8, take on c8, and now rook takes c8. This was the mistake. Queen f6 was the best here, but also this position should be better for white approximately after c5, now queen d2, rook c8, and uh, c3 if I'm not mistaken, this, or oh, maybe rook e1, I'm not sure, I, th I remember something like c3, bishop e5, takes, takes, and takes here, uh, but also I'm not sure, also this position rook e1 looking very strong because now c3 is the threat and after bishop takes here I will take this pawn on d7 not so easy yeah so rook c8 was played Ronit played the move queen b4 very strong one attacking this bishop and also doing a check c5 queen takes b7 d5 and a bishop a6 very nice move attacking the rook on c8 just rook a8 the only move now rook d1 bring the last piece into the game f6 c3 takes takes rook takes d5 and now Queen c6, knight c7, and rook d7, knight takes a6, and checkmate in three moves after queen f3, king g8, queen f7, king h8, and queen g7, mate. So after queen f3, uh, you know, black resigned the game, and Ronit achieved a very important win in this chess Olympiad. So let's go for the last game, the last board we have. Dana Kochavi, uh, women's Fide Master in white pieces against Fide Master. From Bulgaria, we have Gerjana uh, Picheva. Let's see it. E4, C6, Knight f3, D5, Knight C3, takes, takes, Queen E2, yeah, Queen A6, uh, Knight A6, sorry. Also, interesting uh, move here. Don't forget that after Knight BD7, we have checkmate on the board. Knight E6, checkmate. So, no. Uh, also, the, the main line here is Knight takes C4, Queen takes. Also, nice thing here that after Knight E7, Bishop C4. Knight f6, knight e5 is a nice move because after knight takes, just bishop takes f7, checkmate. Uh, so it's it's really nice. Here, the, the main line here is to play queen d5, queen f4, queen f5, queen e3, queen e6, some uh, endgame, interesting endgame, b3. And yeah, you can learn it uh, for white or with black if you want. Knight a6 was played, d4, takes, takes, b queen d5, and now white took it, c takes, and c3. She's going for the end game and she's playing just beautiful. Knight b8, bishop d3, f6, h4. I really like this move, h4. You know, you know me, you know me, you know me. You are here in our YouTube channel and h4, it's this is the our move, right? Uh, knight c6, bishop f4, because the e5 move uh, was the threat for black. Bishop f4, king f7, castle, g6, rook f1. She's playing just with all their pieces. Bishop d7, bishop g3 e6, a4, and now a5. As you can see, white is playing with h pawn, with a pawn, really nice. a6, rook e2, and now bishop d6 was played. Bishop f8 takes, takes, knight e2, e5, takes, takes. Not so easy position to play, but let's see. Rook e3, rook a d8. Now I think black is a little bit better, but as you can see, Dana with seven minutes in her clock and only 24 moves left. So, and she didn't give up, you know, like, this is something that really nice to see. She's just playing, playing normal chess. Knight b3, d4 takes, takes. Knight takes d4, of course. Knight c5, I'm putting the knight in a very good position. Also attacking the b7 pawn. Rook d5, okay, just b4, playing. Everything is under control. Knight c6, bishop e4, a nice move, I think. Uh, uh, just attacking this rook. After bishop takes e4, just rook takes e4. And also, 
you know, defend the pawn on b4. Knight takes b4 probably should be the best here. After rook takes rook c7, uh, rook c5 or rook b7. Should be a draw, of course, after rook e7. Uh, rook b6, I don't know, rook a7. Something like this, but maybe a little bit, a little bit better for white, but not something, uh, you know, uh, important here. So rook c1 was played after uh, rook e7, and now knight takes e6, and knight takes b7, also with threats. So rook d4 now takes knight takes e6. As you can see, Dana Kohavi lost only, you know, like three minutes uh, in, her clock, in her clock uh, in very, you know, like eight moves, something about it. So it's really nice. She's playing with it, with her hand and it's beautiful to see. R rook takes takes 94 and now just rook f1. Rook c8 was much better, I think. Rook e8, check, check, and I don't know, knight c5 taking the b7 pawn should be winning absolutely here. Rook f1, king g7, knight c5 going back. King h6, rook f6, yeah, rook b6, taking this pawn. And, you know, there is nothing here to be afraid of. Um, yeah, just winning without any, any troubles here. Knight f3, taking the h4 pawn. Wow, brilliant. Uh, just amazing. Rook g4 takes, take, check, 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 e5. And now white has four pawns up. And, uh, you know, the Fidel Master from Bulgaria resigned the game. Wow, wow, wow. What can I tell you also about Dana Kohavi? Dana Kohavi won the gold medal in the last board with eight out of it. Eight. It's unbelievable. 100%. It's something that we don't see. Uh, you know, like it's just amazing, amazing. I, I must uh, tell a, a very big congratulations for her managers, coaches. I don't know. Um, David Gordetsky and Ori Kobo. So, you know, they also very strong uh, uh, players and also good friends of, my, of mine. So, yeah, g really good job. And, uh, you know, do, you, do, do your best in her future. And I can tell you that it's nice to see this international uh, chess team of women because they're really, really young, right? We have uh, um, Noga, we have Dana, we have... Uh, Ronit and also we have Marcel and of course Masha is young forever but you know for the age it's also very nice to see some um, um, some very interesting uh, and also young women playing uh, in the national team it's it's very good that uh, you know the, the federation is uh, is doing it because it's really nice and uh, it it can develop their skills so ladies and gentlemen these Israeli chess national team took the 13th place. Can you believe it? 13th place in the Olympiad. It's just amazing result for my opinion, at least. Uh, I can tell you that it's it's really good because you know um, probably they were uh, 25 ranked before the tournament, so finished 13. It's just amazing result. Um, so I hope that they, they are happy. And uh, also the captain, uh, we have uh, Grandmaster Artur Kogan uh, that did uh, a very good job here. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe my channel for more chess content. See you soon, maybe in the next Olympiad? No, no, no. Tomorrow another video. Bye bye.